the powerful clone tool. Today's video is sponsored by the king of pop, Madonna. Open your clip in the fusion page and add a planar tracker node. Make sure that you are in the first frame and hit the go button. Draw a shape around the object that you want to remove. Change the tracking to hybrid and the motion type to affine. Hit the track forward button and let the demon do the work for you. Once the tracker is ready, hit the create planar transform button. Delete the tracker node and keep the planar transform because you're going to use it a couple of times. Bring a paint node in empty space, connect your clip to this and drag it to the left viewer. Change the apply mode to clone. Hold down the option key to select the part from where you want to take the sample and draw over your part to create a clean background. Obviously I will not make it perfect because I'm too lazy, but you can take your time to make it better. Bring a merge node after your clip. Add a time stretcher after the paint node. Double click to the source time to reset it and set it to the first frame. In my case it was frame zero. Bring the planar tracker, connect the time stretcher to the yellow point of it and then to the merge as a foreground. Bring a polygon mask in empty space and draw a shape around your object. Duplicate the planar transform node. Connect your mask to the yellow point of the planar and then to the merge as a mask. Add another merge node. Bring a matte control node in empty space. Change the combine to combine the alpha channel and connect your clip to this. Add a polygon mask and draw around your object. Duplicate the planar transform node. Connect your mask to the yellow point of it and then to the green point of the matte control. Select the matte control and check the post multiply image box. Connect the matte control as a foreground to the merge node and now you can animate the window as you want. If you liked this clip, subscribe to this channel. If you didn't, you can subscribe and close your eyes.